When we left for his mission, we decided we need to do something fun under the tree, since in years to come we would have very few presents under it. We found the Lee Max Village at Michael on sale and decided to start collecting. Grandpa made a board and painted it white, but when we put snow on it, Tootie peed on it because he thought it was a litter box. After years of wear and tear, this year we replaced it with a nice tile flooring that snaps together. We won't need help in getting it off the shelf in the garage. This is our park with a skating pond and a little booth for skate rentals. There are people on park benches and a little girl giving away kittens. The footbridge is a new addition that we got this year. We hope to put swans on the other pond someday. It also has a lighted entrance that's very wide. On the other side of the tracks is the, another part of the park. We have a Punch and Judy show, an ice sculpture, some people visiting the very large tree, and some carolers. Our village includes a schoolhouse, a residence, a gift shop, yarn shop, and pet store, which is appropriate for us. We also have a firehouse and a post office, which is new this year, which really helps, helped us to get. This year we added many new carriages to our village. A large one from my mother's house. Camellia helped us get this milk cart, this milkman delivery. And then a smaller one that looks like around the park carriage ride. And this last carriage is one that we got years ago. It's a taxi driver. Our village includes many accessories and little people. We have children visiting Santa, lots of different vendors. We have some policemen and mailmen, people shopping, a man hanging up a wreath on his house, children jump roping in front of the school, and snowman. Behind our village is the sleigh ride hill. We've been collecting sweaters for many years and have a nice collection now. We usually have twinkling lights underneath the snow, but you can't see the sweaters with the twinkling lights on. We have a new sled with Fanny, another one that Camellia found for us. This is our tree sellers, and they're cutting trees for the village. They have some woodsmen helping them. This is our woods area by the lake. We have lots of trees and lots of new trees this year. In fact, we have a whole tub full of trees. We have three lodges in our wood area. This one is our original one that we have for a long time. We love um, how we have so many accessories around it. We've got a wishing well and a sweets and a lady at the pump. This is the new, another new one that Camille was able to get for us to add to our collection. This is the third cabin and we have a little boy gathering sticks with the dog. And also, Camilla got us a, a doctor with his carriage um, to go with it. Behind it is a mountain that we've just acquired this year with the tree and some bears. Another uh, house that Camilla found for us this year was the lighthouse. It has a blinking red and green light. Next to it are men who are ice fishing in the lake. Around our lighthouse, we have some ice fishers with their little ice houses. Then we also found this year um, another new piece. It's some, some men gleaning ice from the lake with their little donkey and cart. In our woods, we also have lots of animals. We have some deer, a fox, bunnies, squirrels. 
We have lots of people back here in the woods. We have some snowshoers. Skiers by the lake. Some cross-country skiers. We even have some smooching skiers. And we found this lovely wooden bridge to go back here. We also have our animal corral. The original animals got broken because kids love to play with them. So we got these toys now that the children can play with them. And we have this last school letter that we got several years ago to add to our collection. Up on the hill we have a small church. And this is something that Megan gave to us for Christmas one year when she was about seven or eight. We put one of our miniature crushes with it.